Now, WUSA 9 Game On Sports with Frank Hanrahan, brought to you by Xfinity. Well, the Ice Capitals were clearly the better team, but the Flyers showed some heart and were hanging on, but the Caps were trying to cut the cord in Game 6 in Philadelphia. Caps needed just one goal, and that was courtesy of Nicky Backstrom in the second period. Braden Holpe, the shutout victory as the Caps. Yeah, they're celebrating. They win in advance to the playoffs. Much more coming up in Game on Overtime. It was a hard series, even like if we we get a 3-0 lead, but uh, you know, they're a great team. Uh, they bounce back and uh, obviously knew we stay unbelievable. You know, he makes only two goals in this series, but uh, you know, we'll take it and we'll move forward. That's right, we will take it and move forward. How about this? Nearly a six hour game for the Nats as they finally took care of Minnesota in 16 innings. Chris Heise, the hero, walk off homer to get the sweep of Minnesota. All right, let's go racing. Toyota 400 in Richmond, 19 car. Carl Edwards, nice move to overtake Kyle Busch, and he takes the checkered flag in Richmond. Some hoops for you this past week. Wizards hiring a new head man, Scotty Brooks. Is he the right man for the job? We will discuss that and much more coming up next in Game on Overtime. Could Scott Brooks lure that guy, Kevin Durant, to play oh, here in D.C.? Oh, everyone's talking about it. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. What do you right. think? I still think there's a chance. <laughs> okay. You never know until Fingers, we hear otherwise. Fingers crossed. Yes. Let's hear about tomorrow for a little bit. A nice day. Yes. Sunshine, warm. Uh, we're going to have some more clouds building in in the afternoon and then showers and storms on Tuesday. Yellow weather alert day. Howard will have an update of timing coming up tomorrow morning. Okay, we'll look forward to that. Well, you can get updates anytime on our WUSA 9 app. Hang on to that for this week. Game on overtime with that guy is next. Good night, everyone.
This is Game On Overtime, sponsored by Hyundai. Coming up next, what, Caps fans worry? Nah, Caps closing out the Flyers in the opening round of the playoffs. We will take you to Philadelphia for reactions as the Caps move on. Hey, we feel great. We feel like we accomplished something big here. Um, we know there's, there's still a long ways to go, but um, Philly gave us a, a, a great series. You know it's not a sprint, but a marathon is the baseball season, and so is the Nats game against Minnesota. As the Nats try to sweep out the Twins, it almost took two full baseball games to do that. The Wizards are paying a new coach, Scotty Brooks, a lot of money to coach the team up. Can he bring more wins to D.C. or maybe even Kevin Durant? Get ready. Game on overtime starts right now. 72 consecutive saves now for Michael Neuber. Since the last Capitals goal scored by Oshie in game four, and there is Backstrom giving the Capitals a 1-0 lead. Uh, yes, music to our ears. The Capitals with that one goal. That's all they needed. Moving on in the playoffs. Hey there, welcome inside. Game on overtime with Frank Hanran. There has been, of course, lots of murmuring about the Caps. And here we go again, perhaps blowing a 3-1 series lead. Although in this playoff series against Philadelphia, it was 3-zip. But game six, another chance for the Caps to close out and move within 12 wins of perhaps hoisting Lord Stanley's Cup. So the Caps looking to avoid a game seven earlier today. And early on, it looked like the Caps would have a little trouble scoring on former Caps netminder Michael Neuberth. He was, again, awesome. 28 saves for Novi, or Nuvi. Second period, Caps fall victim to a bogus penalty. Look at that. They call that on Backstrom, call for high sticking, but it wasn't his stick. It was a Flyers teammate that drew blood on his own guy. Four minute double minor for Nicky Backstrom. But the Caps killed off that penalty. And then Backstrom plays hero. Scores the game's first goal to give the Caps a one zip lead. And then it became the Braden Holpe show once again. He had a shutout to start the series. He gets a shutout to end the series, making 26 saves including 11 in the third period. Caps finish off the Flyers in six, avoiding that stigma of being unable to close out the series. We've been saying it all year. It's a different group. It's, uh, that past is a different uh, regime, um, basically a different uh, team completely. It's uh, yeah, a few same players, but it's, um, we're trying to write our own history. We have a different ways to win games, different guys that can score goals. Um, it's just that we uh, we feel that we can be in any game, and that's that's a good thing for the playoffs. We're tired in here. We we had to work for it, so uh, it was fun. It was fun, fun way to win. They gave us everything they got, and that's a it's a it's a great team. We we backed up into a corner, and they went down swinging, and um, it was a it was it was a well fought out game. I'm happy we got it over with. It's good to be on the winning side of the handshake line. Braden Holpe, a big reason why the Caps are advancing. He was a beast between the pipes. Holpe made 26 saves. He was awesome in the series. And again, one of the main reasons the Caps are moving on to the next round. Now, many thought this series was going to be a cakewalk, and early on it did look that way, then a little tight. But in the end, all that matters is winning and advancing. Diane Roberts is more on the Caps, closing out the Flyers from Philadelphia. The Capitals advanced to the Eastern Conference semifinals in a game that had a little bit of everything. A phantom penalty on Nick Backstrom, a 5-3 penalty kill, and 26 saves by Braden Holtby. One of those things that we pride ourselves on as a penalty kill unit is trying to, to turn momentum in those uh, opportunities. And, um, you know, at, uh, I don't know if that was the reason, but you know, Nick made a pretty perfect shot, and we knew it was going to have to take a, a perfect shot to beat Newby, So. Um, that was, the, that was the goal we needed. So we had the five and three in the first one too, and then they killed it off. So it was huge. So we kill kill our one off too. So uh, that was a um, big moment of the of the game. And then we we scored we scored there. So that was that was good. The Flyers five on three came when Backstrom was called for high sticking. Replay show it wasn't his stick, but they shook it off. Holtby stopped two shots, and the Caps prevailed. The playoffs are all about not letting anything bother you. Um, on the bench, we said. You know, it's a penalty call. It's not going to be rescinded. Um, you got to kill it. And uh, there's a lot of turning points that could possibly go in the other direction during games, and uh, we didn't let that bother us. They don't give us any, um, you know, easy easy games. Uh, there was uh, all over us. Uh, they win two games in a row, and uh, kind of feel pretty feel about themselves. But uh, you know, we 
we find find a way and uh, win the game. Next up for the Capitals, a familiar foe, the Pittsburgh Penguins. And you know what that does, don't you? It sets up that matchup between Alexander Ovechkin and Sidney Crosby. Those two haven't met in the postseason since 2009. In Philadelphia, Diane Roberts, WUSA 9 Sports. Yes, as Diane mentions, the Caps will face always tough Pittsburgh. Fan bases have zero love for each other. That will heighten the matchup. Pens knocked out the Rangers at five games. We shall find out soon when the dates will be set for this second round matchup. Regular season right across the middle. Caps 2-2-1 two, two and one against the Pens. Some baseball now. You just got to love what you are seeing from the Nationals. No question having Dusty Baker on the bench and Bryce Harper leading the charge. Baseball, yes, is becoming fun again down in Southeast. Nats looking to sweep Minnesota on a beautiful day for baseball. Matinee style. And look at that little kid enjoying himself. Twins in town looking for the sweep by the Nats. Bottom one, a career first for Matt Dendecker. First career leadoff homer. One zip Nats. Fast forward to the bottom of the ninth, Bryce Harper pinch hitting and another career first. Bryce, his first career pinch hit home run. Ties the game at four. Yeah, they're going crazy. They're going crazy at Nats Park. To the 16th we go. Patience for the fans. Tied at five. Chris Heisey changes that with one swing. Launches a shot over the bullpen. First walk off for the Nats this season. Nationals win 6-5 in a game that nearly lasted six hours in 16 innings. After I swung through the fastball, I was upset with myself trying to hit the ball too hard. Turns out when you don't swing very hard, you still have a chance to hit a home run. So I'm happy that uh, I could help end this game. Hey, isn't that our line? Nats magic. Remember Orioles magic. Birds looking to take the rubber game at the Royals. Tied at one in the six. Eric Hosmer, other ideas. Homers will break the tie.